Please handle with care. Glass. Thank you. Please handle with care. Glass. Thank you. Please handle with care. Every side of the box. I guess he didn't write it on the bottom. But every side of the box. Glass. Please handle with care. Thank you. And this is how it arrived. Good morning, folks. We're back out here at Dad's shop today, and I got a package to open that's come from a long ways away. Some of the people that are on the Coleman Facebook group might recognize what this is just by the guy's logo on there. This package, well, I'm gonna butcher his name and I apologize for it in advance, came from Dolrawat Bunyaka Tanant. I, I highly doubt that I hear from him and he says, you know what? My name, you nailed it. <laughs> I'm guessing that I got it completely wrong, but this package has come all the way to Eastern Iowa from Bangkok, Thailand. And the people that are in the Coleman Facebook group also know what this is probably. This is the guy that makes the custom glass globes for the Coleman lanterns. I'm gonna set it down here on the stool and move the chair in a little bit closer to get a better shot of it. Okay, let's open this up and see if it's made it. This side, the tape's already broke loose. I know it made it, but let's see if it made it in one piece. I shook it and I don't hear anything rattling. So as banged up as this box is, hopefully it's not destroyed. And you got full of bubble wrap. No, oh, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, and he's got them inside a plastic tubs in here. Huh. Well, that's good. I'm sure that by the looks of this box, that 100% is what saved these from being destroyed. Those are kind of nice. I'll save those if I ship something that's got a globe that is gonna go a long ways. A regular globe would fit right back in there too. All right, let's see here he's got these sealed up with packing tape wrapped around and around there so thanks to Dolrawat for packaging it up well because when I got that box I was not expecting them to be in one piece and then I shook them listened didn't hear anything rattling around or anything so then I was a little more hopeful but package them so well that I can't get them open. That's good though. I was pretty worried when I saw the packaging. That's a good idea. I can't even find the end of the tape to try to unwrap it. I wonder what came in them containers or if you bought them that way or... Yeah, I don't know. I may not be tough enough to get them unwrapped. So are there any markings on them of what something might come in them or something? Uh, oh, yeah. Can you read that to me? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, for one thing, it's so tiny you couldn't read it even if it was in English, but... No, I'm guessing this didn't have anything come in it. He must have just... He must just buy these containers for when he's... Yeah shipping this stuff out. Okay, I think I might be able to get the lid off the first one now. Maybe. Is that a flower on top of it? Yeah, yeah, it's a, I don't know what well, kind of flower, but yeah, they must just be like yeah. 
generic container that you can get for stuff there. Okay, here's maybe this has got to be some really exciting footage to watch. You did a fantastic job wrapping. That's yeah, cool. yeah, even inside of this container. Yeah. Now it's wrapped up again. I'll pause the camera till I get them both out of the containers and then we'll take the bubble wrap off of them. Okay, 10 minutes later, I got all the tape peeled off there so I can get the container open. Those are kind of nice little containers. Maybe yeah, I'll just keep we're them. Nice. We're nice. They're made in Thailand. It's hard to believe since that's yeah. where they came from. Yeah. All right, we'll set those off to the side. I'm gonna open up this one first. He's even got them wrapped up good inside the container. Everything's taped. But... Yeah, we did a fine job. Well, had he not packaged them so well, I guarantee they'd have been broke the way that box looked. Yeah, cardboard was flat wore out. When the lady from the post office said I had to sign for this since it was International Post, walked up to our door and handed that to me. I was pretty disappointed. There we go. We're finally getting somewhere here now. I'm gonna have bubble wrap for the next 10 things that I ship out now. More tape. Here we go. That, this that is, beautiful. is the globe that he made and I ordered one that is plain clear glass and I'm gonna run that I think in one of my 427 lanterns. That's what I brought out to try it out in today. I might end up switching it and putting it in something different. But he customizes these to whatever you want. I could have had him make a match light hole in the side of it so you could get a match in through there. But when I bought it, I didn't know for sure what I was even gonna use it on. And then actually after I, after it was already ordered and being made and maybe even after it was shipped, because these took 18 days from the time he shipped it till they arrived here. I ended up changing my mind to what I was gonna do with the one that I'm opening now. So when, once we get it open, I'll show you what I got in mind for this one. All right, I'm getting through the layers here. Look at that one. It's yeah. embossed glass and every single one of those he cuts the strips and puts them together so that they can be round shaped. That one looks like it got a little whammied, probably banging around in shipping, but I can straighten that back out a little bit. A little, little out around, but the way that it's individual pieces you can flex it and bend it right back around. Oh, that's very nice. And I'm gonna put the clear one, I said, like I said, I'm gonna start it out on a 427 lantern, but I might switch it to something different because I didn't order one with a lighting hole, so I might end up putting it on something different, or I've got one of my old 427s that somebody's cut out the bottom of it so you can get a match in there. I might end up switching it to that one and putting my mica globe back on the one that i'm sticking it on for right now but either way for today this one's going to go on a 427 lantern that i brought out here and this one with the amber glass i think i'm going to put on this lamp after i had already ordered this and it was on its way we went to the amish store and i found this lamp bracket that's made to slide a globe down over and then you can run a regular lampshade on here because it keeps the heat from radi radiating out and burning up your lampshade and works like a chimney and makes all the heat go out through the top. So I just bought a Amazon lampshade that has wire frames that come in. So I think it will work on here. And if this, yeah, I was figuring I might have to do a little adjusting on no, it fits right on there perfectly. That's awesome. 
I was afraid I might have to do a little adjusting on the frame. Let's turn that up just a little bit higher so you can see better. On the frame of this, because it's just a X-shaped frame that goes in there and then it's got holders that the globe sits in at the bottom. And I thought maybe this wouldn't be exactly the same size as a regular glass, but it slides right down on there and fits on there perfectly. So let's set this off to the side. Let's see here. Let's get the lantern out that I brought out. We'll slip that globe in this lantern. And then I'll put the lamp shade together that I'm gonna use on that table lamp. And we'll light both of them up and see how they look with the homemade handmade glasses from Thailand in them. Yeah, this one just had a regular Coleman glass in it. I'm gonna put this in the 327 that had that pump holder built on the side of it. I'm gonna transfer this glass over to there because the glass that I stuck in there to get it going, I stole out of my ash flash lantern that I did in a video a month and a half or so ago. So I can put that back in the ash flash lantern then. So I got everything all swapped around. We'll get everything put back where it actually belongs. But let's see if this one fits in here. Perfectly, that's cool. That is really cool. I've been looking at these on the Coleman Facebook group for a long time, for ever since I joined the group, he occasionally posts stuff on there. And finally, I just sent him a message through Facebook Messenger, which is the only way I know of to get a hold of him. But I will show you his contact information on there. I told him that I wouldn't give out his address or anything. But if you want to look him up, you can look him up on Facebook. That's his name and that little logo he's got on for his profile picture on there. If that doesn't show well on there, I'll edit it into the video so that you can see exactly who he is in case any of you want to try one of these because that is really cool and it's kind of a yeah. neat way to yeah, change up a lantern that you've got. I've got multiples of these, so it'd be kind of fun. I've got some with the reproduction brand new micas in it some with original micas and now i've got one with one of dora watts globes from thailand in it so let's go ahead and we'll fire this one up first i think it's got it's not got very much fuel in it i'm gonna steal some of dad's fuel and put it a little bit in here still holding pressure this one hasn't been lit for months Here we go. I'm not going to fill it clear up, but I'll put a little bit in there. It sounded pretty dry. All right, I'm going to pump this up and I'm going to leave the top on there or leave the top off of there until I get this lit. I probably will end up transferring this to a different lantern that's got, I've got a 427 that's got a hole cut down here because at some point they must have had a glass globe in it. So maybe I'll put this one on that one at home and I'll put the old mica that's on that back here that's got the little slide up door for lighting this one. But anywho, for right now, we'll go ahead and light this up and see what it looks like with that custom glass globe on it. Ooh, can't get the knob to turn now. There we go.
Look at that. That looks neat in there. It does. That looks really neat. That's a kind of a fun little thing to have in one of the lanterns just to make one of them a little different than the rest. Uh, here, I'll set this back here. Well, I'm getting this one going now. This one sounds like it could use a splash of fuel too. This lamp I have had going before. It's been, I don't know, maybe a year. I even tried selling it on the uh, Coleman Buy Selling Trade Facebook group and didn't end up selling it or didn't get a high enough offer on it for what I wanted. So I ended up keeping it. And I'm kind of glad I did now that I have got this i was going to just put this on another lantern but then once after we already had it ordered and i found this bracket i thought man that would be cool to put on there we'll go ahead and pump it up and light it up and then i'll show you the globe that i got or not the globe the lampshade i got just a plain white lampshade because i'm hoping that these embossed raised designs and the lines from in between the individual panes of glass will kind of project out and show on that white lampshade so we'll i'll get this lit first and then we'll put the lampshade together and put it on there and see what it looks like i don't have the correct stem and nut on here i'll get one i'm pretty sure i can get that off old colonparts.com but for right now the screw that i got in there will work that'll get it all put together so we can try it out and then i'll get it correct one coming for it. I don't remember what year this lamp is. I don't know. Let me look at it. Okay. I don't think... Yeah, these don't have the... Get out, Neil. These don't have the thing underneath Down. the... Down. Fill hole, but this has got a G on the valve wheel. I'll have to look it up again. I can never remember what year they started. And then A was the next year, B was the year after that. I think it was 22. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G would be 7. So 29, maybe? I'll look it up, though, to know for sure and all edit it into the video to let you know exactly what year this lamp is. Let's fire this thing up. This has the tip cleaner generator on it, not the Q99 with the curly Q, so it's not as easy to preheat, but I still like to just hold the flame of the lighter on it for maybe 10 seconds or so. Kind of preheat it up a little bit and get less flare up that way. It's still going to flare a little bit, but or a lot, maybe. <laughs> ran fuel down from the generator down here on the behind the valve it's not leaking down there it's just dumped a bunch of raw fuel out and ran down there that's what makes it exciting every once in a while they catch on fire Which is why I always say, I don't know why there's any house from before 1930 still standing. Leo, why? Why do you find the loudest thing in here to chew on? Here. 
This is much quieter. Go get the ball. All right, let's set this right off to the side. That looks really cool. I like the amber globe and I like the design on it. Oh, that's pretty. So let's put together one of these cheap Amazon lampshades. I don't know how there's two of them in here. I do know that because it was cheaper to buy two of these than it was to buy one that was similar to it in a pack of one. They've got metal frames for the top and the bottom of the fabric on there. This came from China, so we got stuff from all over the world. It's not quite as impressive when something from Amazon comes from China, though. Assembly instructions. There's words on there, but I'm just going to look at the pictures. No, oh, they Velcro together. That's that's a sign of a good quality lampshade, I think. So it shows them Velcroing it together and then clipping it on to the top and the bottom. I'm guessing this frame metal frame probably whatever kind of coating they got on there the part that's over the oh that'll sit right over that the part that's over there will probably all get burned off and once it's all burned off to where it's going to quit burning at the outside edges i'll clean it up with some steel wool i don't know i just thought i'd try this it might not even work well and i'll end up getting something different but i thought that a white cloth globe might look pretty neat with that amber design shining on it from underneath so okay well, actually that doesn't look too bad once it's put together let's set it on here and see what it looks like Neat. Yeah, it doesn't really show the design. I was hoping that the design of the globe would shine and kind of show on there. It's a nice soft light though. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, it definitely funnels the heat. Let's get the camera around this I'm way. guessing that with the globe in here, oh yeah, I could definitely put my hand right in the middle in between the globe and the lampshade and it doesn't get hot at all so that won't be an issue the heat coming out up here even holding your hand away up above it it's definitely catching all the heat and sending it straight out the top so i'm guessing that these wires in here will probably end up burning that whatever this coating is off of it but I think by the time it gets to the outside it's going to be perfectly fine well, there we go here's the two of them sitting side by side here's the amber glass on there I'll kind of be anxious to see at home and if I get it in the living room if I can convince my wife to let me burn it in the house for a while and Really, they don't smell too bad. If you've got good fuel in them and everything's clean and it doesn't have old fuel residue or anything, they don't stink up the house too bad. All right, folks, thanks for watching this week. As always, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please do. It definitely does help out. It also helps if you just leave a comment, leave a like. The YouTube algorithm likes it when you get comments and likes and it pushes my videos higher to the top of the feed for other people to find. 
And if you want to support my channel, the best thing you can do is once those ads come up in the beginning and middle of the video, just let them play. I know they get annoying, but I go through on every video that I post, take at least half the ads out of the middle of it so you're not getting ads every two or three minutes through the whole video. So if you want to support our channel, if you like the content we're putting out, the best thing you can do is give us a like and subscribe and just let those ads play for us. Thanks again for watching. Come on back next week. We'll have a video of something here for you to watch.